Hello guys, it's Hystaria here again. This time we are looking at the Crypto.com NFT platform. NFT stands for Non-Fungible Token. And while the technology is still young, I expect great things from it in the future. For example, your house and my house are both houses, but they are not the same. My house is way cheaper than yours, and they are not in the same location. So if they were a token, they would be a non-fungible token. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I was able to put my house up as an NFT on the blockchain in the not so distant future. But for now, NFTs are mostly focusing on various collectibles. People buy and sell these on the primary and secondary market, and like any new thing, as you can see, it can get pretty wild out there. Anyway, let's go and take a look at how the Crypto.com NFT platform works. First, we will obviously have to sign up. If you are already a customer because you have an exchange account or the app or both, it doesn't matter. You have to make a new account anyway. The sign-up process itself is extremely simple. You just have to fill these fields here and you are good to go. Once you have completed making your account, we can visit the Marketplace tab. The Marketplace tab shows all the different available options, including the drops that are currently going on, as well as the previous ones that are being sold on the secondary market. When any new NFTs are released, they will show up on the drops page. Here, things are listed at a specific price, and you can buy them outright. Let us buy one that is currently running for demonstration's sake, so you can see what the process looks like. Here, you can choose a payment method. Although I could use my trusted Crypto.com IC white card, I will make this demonstration with Crypto.com Pay, just so you can see how that works. Since I have my funds on the app, I will choose that option. Here, in the app, we must go to the Pay page and then click on Scan. Then, we simply point to the QR code. Yep. That sounds like an acceptable deal. We can click on continue. 1 CRO is 1 CRO. Okay. My payment is done. I now own an NFT. Let's go take a look. I think in the future I can also withdraw these NFTs off the platform onto a blockchain, but should I want to sell them, I would have to return them onto the platform, or perhaps via some breach I could also sell them elsewhere. This functionality is still in the works, but I expect it to be around quite soon. The site is very easy to navigate, and overall I do not expect you to have any trouble using it, should you want to get one of these NFTs. Well, that's it for this video. For my next video, I got something really interesting you don't see every day cooking up, and I hope it won't be that long until I get to post it, so don't miss it. YouTube will let you know if you subscribe, just saying.